So for our first item here, it's titled Configure GPP Settings, including and that long list of items. Let's step through the important ones here so that we can take a look at what's valuable for the exam, but also as an exploration of the different kinds of GPPs that you could potentially create. The first item is control panel settings, which as you'll see here in just a minute is really a long list of possible items that we could configure. So let's actually go through just creating kind of a generic GPO here. So a new GPO that is a mechanism or a container for all these GPPs that we'll later configure. So uh, configure our user experience. You may not necessarily create such a catch-all GPO that includes all those group policy preference settings. But this is one location, since we have so many of them that we need to configure, that we can actually go about configuring them here in this GPO. So for control panel settings, what I want to show you here is that under group policy preferences, down here in both computer, con computer configuration and in user configuration, are what are called Windows settings and also control panel settings. And to be perfectly honest, I've never really figured out what the difference is or the separation is between the different items that exist in one or the other of these. If we expand them both, you can take a look at just the variety of items that exist. So in user configuration, you could configure applications and drive maps and environment variables and add files and folders on to machines. You could add INI files as well or custom adjust the registry. You could even create shortcuts to just automatically appear on a person's computer. Now, down here under control panel are the items ostensibly that would be configured in the control panel. But these are things like ODBC data sources, um, allowing or denying access to certain devices. So again, those USB sticks, those USB hard drives that people might plug in, you could actually restrict those devices from never being able to be plugged into machines here with devices. We have folder options, which are the actual parameters, the characteristics that you would define on folders themselves, Internet Explorer settings, local users and groups, and so on. So all of these are just different aspects of most often the desktop operating system that you might want to configure to create, again, that stable starting condition for a machine that receives this GPO.